Welcome back to the Esports Report, presented by the Xbox One. Benson and Mr. X currently going through a bit of an AMA. We uh, tweeted out earlier on, you guys can ask us anything you want, we'll answer it on the show. We've had some uh, pretty good questions so far, some funny ones, some kind of important some ones. Some very questionable ones. Some, yeah, some interesting ones too. Uh, what's, what's the next so question So we left off with uh, why was Maven hired at MLG, we don't know why. No one knows. Uh, Cock me, too many gingers, <laughs> completely agree. Uh, Benson, do you like being known as the Red Panda? Yeah. Love it. Um, it's a cool little nickname. You chose it. Branding. Right? I didn't choose it, actually. So the funny story behind this is um, both Golden Boy and uh, Puckett were casting. And I was kind of walking past the, the desk. And like, oh, look at him. You know, Benson, he's, he's ginger. He's like a, a red cuddly panda. Neither of them at the time knew that red panda was actually a thing. And then they found out that red panda is a thing. And it's kind of stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck. So now it's just a red panda. Red panda army. Pretty good one. Come on. Don't have a cool nickname like that. The X-Men. Uh, X. That could be your thing, dude. For Matt, if you placed higher, let's say hypothetically, in the money at Black Ops 2 Champs, would you have continued to play? 100% I would have. Really? Um, there was even a point where uh, if Tuger would have kept playing, mm -hmm. I probably would have kept playing. Damn, that's crazy. You could still uh, be And I was on the edge of kind of saying, you know, let's play. We can probably find two, you know, pro borderline pro players who will come play with us you know knew he qualified for champs right, had right, a right. decent showing it might come play then he was just like i'm done and then that point i was like i don't want to deal with a lot of the right, right i don't want to go to a team full of cod players you know be that kind of like outcast the guy outca like, <laughs> the outsider. so that's when i was like Graham, i'm gonna coach you guys and he was like okay fine what about it works for you ben yeah we already know the answer to that what are the big steps that you think mlg will take to improve competitive cod and how it is operated I think they've already taken well, the... Well, yeah, I mean... I think it's just building on top just, of what yeah, we have. It's yeah. foundation. Honestly, it's working closely with developers to try and, you know, make sure the next Call of Duty is, is ready for competitive play. Uh, the, the infrastructure we have, you know, Pro Points is, is awesome. Being used as a, a... Hopefully, you know, global system would be really, really good. Well, um, right, yeah. That, that's really the, the next step, I think, for me. Uh, compared to other esports, what are the reasons the competitive COD scene has developed into being more about the personalities of the pros and less about the game? I don't think that's true that's less, yeah, that less about the game. I think it's just that the COD community has such a large community of, you know, just so YouTubers with that's sniping right, and just... Right, right. There's more to the game than so just the competitive. So much. If you look at the League of Legends, the only people you're going to know from League of Legends are that like, you're really funny streamers and you're pro players. Right. Whereas you look at COD, there's like... Casters, YouTubers, casters, YouTubers, snipers, players, everything, and I'm like, the Call of Duty esports community is one of the only communities I know where we can make things trend worldwide like that. A couple of players yep. tweet the same thing, trending worldwide. Yep. The only community. It's huge. Like Rustamania, dude. Oh, I, Rustam, that's why Rustamania is, is such an interesting time because the the mess we make on Twitter is it's silly. Is unparalleled. It, it can't be touched. Um, what do you honestly think needs to change in our scene to grow? We we already talked about that. Right. Chipotle or in or out, Chipotle. Chipotle. Uh, we won't FMK, touch that. those people, no, not touching that one. Uh, what do you guys. No, what, got what, you guys? Oh, what got you guys in the podcast? Obviously, sorry, not reading from that. that. Nope, nope, reading was not part of <laughs> All right, you go first. Uh, what got me into casting, I would say. Pocket? Really, it. I mean, no. Like, watch him cast forever. Uh huh. Uh, just like being involved in the community, Fanboy. like coming back. Into Fanboy! It. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, getting back cool. into the community, like kind of you know, coming cool. into COD in general, uh, watching all you guys cast for multiple events, kind of really where I was like, oh, maybe eventually down the line. I could do it. And then the coach thing stopped. I didn't really, you know, the managerial thing was fun. I was really good at it, but it wasn't something that, I mean, I enjoyed it. Right. But it wasn't really what I wanted to do. Well, fulfilling. You and then, know. I mean, you know, did some, uh, you know, work on the back end of tournaments, not really like scheduling, just, you know, like venues and stuff like right. that. Had fun doing that. Uh, but then I started doing, you know, the Pro League, ESR, having a ton of fun, getting a little bit more comfortable with it, and it's just been awesome since then. Yeah, that's been pretty much it. It's been good fun. Uh, for me, probably hmm, all the way back, probably watching EGL 7. And I was watching, I was like, yo, I could do that. Really? And at the time, I, I told you this story. I had the, the Psycho Clan, was the clan name I was in. Number one domination MW3 player in the world, believe it or not. It's really not that much of a cool accolade. Yeah. I wish it kind of was. Um, ran an internal tournament, casted it, not knowing what casting was. 
someone found it on YouTube. And ironically, this is the cool thing. Those YouTube videos of me casting for like the very first time are still on YouTube today. Pretty cool. I'm waiting. I, honestly, this is like the whole like cool thing for me. I'm waiting for someone to like stumble across it and be like, yo, is, it, is this you? Like, is it is this you casting? Because it's like nothing to do with the Benson brand. Like it has none of that stuff. It's just completely just out there living yeah. on the internet. And I'm, I'm curious to see if someone finds it. And then uh, someone cool. did actually stumble across it and was like, hey, do you ever thought about doing this more? I was like, eh, could do. Brought me to an event, cast an event. Been doing it ever since. Pretty sweet. Cool story. Uh, do you think we will see a bigger prize pool this chance due to money? I don't think. No, uh, not this no, one. Not this one. I think this is definitely a test, though, towards oh, you know, yeah. what goes on See later. how much people, see how many people buy it, see how much yep. revenue can be generated. Uh, is it a bad thing to have Optic? Uh, no. no. I don't think so. Uh, not at all. Optics huge. They're one of the largest. Right. They have one of the largest like fan TSM. base in all of these sports. Like TSM. Yeah, you wouldn't say that's bad. Uh, do you guys at MLG, Benson, Matt, and Puckett have a say in what goes into events? I love, love, love this question because when I'm there at the desk and you guys are all tweeting me. It's like, yo, me, why is the stream delayed? Yo, why is the stream delayed? We can't hear you. Why is the match you. on station 18 not, not on, on main stream? stage? Why is this not main stage? I can't even see Station 18. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in Station 18. You probably it. know what's going on so, in Station so 18 the, more than I do. So the big thing is, like, when we're at an event yeah, like we're, that, we're, we are, I like, get specifically it, yeah. talent. Like, all we all we're there to do really is cast. Um, you, you've you had other roles, like you said. When yeah, you but still it was back-end stuff, but nothing to do right. with, like, the, the scheduling stuff. And we get it. You know, we're the guys on I camera. It, we're yeah. the guys that you see all the time, so it's kind of easy to ask us the questions. But no word of a lie, about 99% where, you know, you ask, what time does the stream start? Why is the stream delayed? At that point, me and Matt, we, you know, we're sat in the I booth. I know when I'm supposed to be there and it goes live. Right. I That's... generally know what the matches are that day. You right. know, what potentially the matches Which are that day. Which we probably talked about over breakfast or, like, right. over a Starbucks when we're, like, running to. Other than that? We honestly don't know anything. That's crazy. That's a great question, though. I do love that question. Don't, uh, a lot of people yeah. don't realize that. Uh, pros and cons about being a caster? Ooh, this is a good question. Uh, you, all right, we'll do pros first. What's your, what's your biggest pro? Mm, it's just fun. It is. I have like a really good time uh, to be able to just kind of sit here, you know, banter with you, have a good time. Right. Have everyone at home just enjoy, have a good time. I agree. It's very fun. I'm, I'm big on positive vibes. It's big, positive good, good vibes. vibes. Good vibes. Uh, for me, it's the fans. Like I, yeah. I, I love the fans, man. The fans are awesome. Like you get to any event and like you can interact with the crowd. Well, like the crowd interaction, like at UMG. At we UMG, like right? Going, that was, was that was awesome, man. For me, it's completely different. Like it completely flipped. Like completely. Yeah, because you were like cold. You were like, <laughs> I was like, get him away. Yeah. And then now it's like, bring him more. Yeah. And then it's like, like complete opposite. Guy. Yeah, he's kind of cool. <laughs> Which is kind of odd because I've always been like this. Even you when never I was changed. with Cole, right? You've always been the same like with Rex, but people kind of but on like the right, it's two different roles. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, very weird. All right, so what's cool. a, what's your con? I don't know. Because con about being a caster. I don't. Really for, know. Do you want to know what it is for me? Well, I I don't know why this is the case. Maybe it's because I'm European, but people saying that I've said something which I haven't said. For me, that's the I most probably annoying. that's to be just honest, me though. I haven't casted enough me. yet to probably have a con. That's a good. That's a good con. Not to not have a con because you haven't cast enough yet. Are you reason? Okay with that. Uh, what are 22 reasons why you believe Champs 2015 is going to be the best tournament it could be? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I get it. Yeah, uh, so I get it. Number one, no, we're not gonna. Get we can't. Nah, I'm sure. You'll 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 find that out. <laughs> uh, sleeper, sleeper team, team for champs, and who is in your grand final? I'll sleeper team for me trades. is going to be Optic Nation. Don't know why. Last year, I predicted... Is it fair to really call them a sleeper team, though? At this point, they're last in the league, absolutely. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, really my grand final, that. though, I want... Fi uh, OG I want phase. OG phase. Yeah, that's too. what I want. I think that's, that, an Optic Gaming versus phase mint, so aches, etc., is the best possible final for COD Esports yes. as a whole to grow. A, you have the storylines. Yeah, right. You have the two biggest brands. You've got you know the best... Well... You can argue the best talent, the but. winningest player. Yeah, it, it's versus, just, it's just, yo, it's line. just it, that, that's the best final. You could talk about. about the storylines in that match for right. an hour. Or Honestly, two hours. sleeper team for me is actually strictly business. Really? I don't know why. I just, I think, just told Puckett I didn't think they would even get into season two. So yeah, nice. This, this, I'm glad you said that. 
because I can agree with you on that. TR can get think, in. So th this is the thing. If Strictly Business don't get into champs, sorry, if Strictly Business don't get into season two, I think that lights the fire even more to play well at champs. Imagine, no, 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 no. trust me. Th this is words out of their own mouth too. So don't hate the player, hate the game. But in all honesty, I think if SB do not qualify for season two, I think they'll play better at champs. I hate you so much. Next okay, question. Yeah, next question. Uh, Ass. Does Maven only play CSGO because of his inability to hold the controller? Yes. Can confirm. Okay. Bring it back. <laughs> bring, bring it back real quick. Bring it back. He's the worst video game player anybody has ever seen. He's actually Not quite decent at CS. He's, he's okay. So that's why I think he gravitates towards that. He's just like, yo, let me play CS. Real quick. He loves single player Honestly, games. Honestly, he, he, loves he CS. knows nothing. I don't even think he has... AW installed on his Xbox. Nah, I don't even think he owns Xbox One at this point. He probably like sold it for parts for his PC. <laughs> nah. Are you uh, good at Call of Duty? Bo um, both well, can confirm yes. I played at Champs. Yeah, you played at Champs. I've consistently beaten you on the ESR, so that so, makes me good. Yeah, that makes Ben good. There you go. Uh, what's Boop. the approximate crowd capacity at no Champs? Idea. That's a really good question. We obviously don't know the answer to that. No. We just said we don't plan it. Uh, honestly, I, I think the best thing to do there is stay tuned on immediatelygaming.com. Yes. Uh, for more information, I assume something will be tweeted out news, but that isn't even like a you know pre kind of speech that we can tell you. I literally have no idea. Tickets do go on sale the seventeenth though. Right. So right. Uh, there's that fifty dollar package, the hundred dollar package. Uh, it's actually really good. Dude, deal. I am. I'm curious to know that though. The spectators, because like if I it's anything like Anaheim, oh, I hope it's like I hope they man. pack the shiz out of it. Oh, Anaheim, the shiz. Um, yeah. I like it. <laughs> How do you prepare for your first LAN? What do you bring? How do you practice, etc.? You answer this one. You know better than I do. Okay. First Having LAN. Having said that, your LAN was probably like on a tube TV, yep. standard uh, def. You probably had like, what, bring your own console at the time? It was, it was barren. Um, <laughs> obviously, you know, bring your headset, maybe your Helps. mix amp uh, yeah. controller. Disc, to, maybe. Maybe your disc. How to practice? Practice the same exact way you would regularly. Don't change anything up. When you get to the event, Advice. here's the biggest thing. Don't change anything. If you go to sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning every day when you're home, go to sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning when you get there. Going to sleep early isn't going to fix anything. Mm. I mean, obviously. I mean, don't go to sleep at 3 a.m. every night. That's not good. Yeah, if you go to sleep at 8 a.m. Oh, sorry, 8 p.m. every night. Go to sleep at 8 p.m. every night. Right. Do what Just you do. keep your schedule the same. You can't throw your body off at right. an event. That's really, you know, That's the main thing. That's a good piece thing. of advice because I feel so many people on the first line event get really excited. They're like, like oh, I yo, I've got to stay at the bar. i got to, you know, 3 a.m. Oh, chilling with all these people on online. Well, you're going to lose. Right. Sorry. Where a lot of people go and they're like, oh, man, I got to get to sleep early, you know, like, got to right. get up early tomorrow and play. Exactly. And it's like, no. It's like, you, right. You're like, at home. You have to and do what chill. does for you. Just do, yes. Just, just do, do what you. you do at home. Yeah. Um, you could have any team from competitive COD history play any other team from competitive COD history on any competitive map in any competitive game mode during the last game of World Champs. Who versus who playing what mode on what map? I would have Black Ops 2 Impact versus. Um, I'd probably go with Ghosts EG. So we're going to have to clone Karma on this one. But I assume I'm allowed to do that. And I would have them play Search and Destroy, Game 5, obviously. Search and Destroy, I want to say Standoff on Black Ops 2. Maybe... I would, I would say Standoff. I think that'd be kind of cool. I want to see Cole with Clay versus Cole with Karma. Oh, that's a great shout, too. Hardpoint Raid. Oh, that would be nasty. Dude, that'd be sick. I don't know how you even do that. Uh, Matt, why is your hair so amazing? Talked a little bit about that about earlier. I just, wake up. Just does that. That's it. It's not. I was, I'm like, yo, no, is it all right? Never again, please. And then that's how it goes. Do you think pros should start using streaks, rapid fire, and hover, and anything that's not banned? I think we're going to see a lot of the European teams do that. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to see them use it, though. Pros. Don't think they're going to switch. Maybe streaks. Streaks had like a push. Yeah. But like rapid fire, no. Hover, no. Probably not. Question for the both of you. What was your favorite you match one. to cast? Oh, did I? Yeah. If you were oh, if you were one. to have one pro player cast with you guys who hasn't casted before, who would you pick? Uh, who would I pick? So who's going to be good at casting? Let's think about this. Uh, everyone from Optic Gaming has casted before. Bar Seth, I believe. Formal? I don't know if Formal hasn't casted either, has he? No. I don't know. I don't know why the camera's just on me here. I'm just thinking out loud. I'd want to cast with Killa. 
You have... Yeah, he cast the cast of the on. That doesn't really count, though. I'll give you that. That would be awesome. I agree. Killer, I think, would be the best place to cast. Killer one. would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, favorite match to cast? Oh, okay. Um, For me, favorite match I've ever casted, I have two. Um, One may surprise a couple of people. First one, obviously, Black Ops 2 Grand Final World Champs. It's doesn't huge. get better than that. An S&D going all the way to a game five. Biggest stage. Unbelievable. Especially at the time for like where I was at in like my casting career. That was huge. Second one is when Krim dropped 20 kills in Search and Destroying Ghosts. That to me just stands out as one of the best casts yeah. I think I've ever had. Mm, for me, uh, the phase final at UMG Nashville was really fun. That was good. Cast with Teep. Went right. to two best of fives that was all good. the way to yeah, the yeah, end. That was, a good that was like an underrated series. A lot right. of people like kind of really forget talk about, about that right. one because it was the end of Ghost, but that was a good one. And then uh, OG Envy at Columbus Open. I cast with Maven. That was a good. Game. That was pretty good. Yeah, okay. I had fun. Uh, if coaches came back, would you consider joining Optic Gaming ahead of Aix or Teep? If coaches came back, I wouldn't go wouldn't become a coach. coach. Right. Why would you? Uh, I like my job. <laughs> I wouldn't become a coach. I, I like what I do. <laughs> uh, I would work with Optic Gaming, though. That would be interesting. Uh, we don't know the answer to this. Uh, yeah, don't know the answer to that. Uh, Can't answer that. Kill both of these two, say, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> you could watch a fight between two pros. Who would they be? Like a boxing match? Sensor and Apathy. Why? Oh, actually, no. Tipsy and Sensor. Kill and Fizzer. <laughs> that be good. All right. Wait. Who would you Who would you rather go on a date with? Jennifer Lawrence. Next question. Yeah. That's not even a question. Uh, but you, actually. Uh, ends of loaves of bread. You, you, you can bring it back to us. I don't like where this is going. What do you mean? He's staring at me and making me uncomfortable. Ariana Grande, if you're watching, I love you. Okay. Now we can go back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, next question. Do you eat the end of the loaf of bread? Yes, but only with soup. Yeah, why not? I only have it with soup, though. I don't really? get soup, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, why is Mr. X a boss at coaching? He that was hella scary and intimidating, obviously. You know, being as Please large stop. and next muscular stop, as stop I am, it. I'm Puck very it. What does it take? We need to it. It's not here, so that doesn't count. Uh, as a long-time fan and follower of various esports for over a decade now, my biggest criticism with MLG at the moment is the lack of dank memes. What do you think is casters that we can do to improve the level of dankness <laughs> in streams and bring MLG to the forefront of memes? Just be more dank, really. Is that a question? I don't know. Uh, what is your funniest moment in esports? When I fell off a stage, that was pretty funny. You fell off a stage? Yeah. Is there a video of that? No. Thank Why'd goodness. you fall off a stage? I well, I mean, excited. why is a dumb question, but Well, so what, what a lot of people don't realize is um, behind where we sit on stages. Yeah. There isn't a lot of space. Like you, you now, you realize that, yeah. right? On some some of the stages, like imagine this table is the the stage. The stage will literally like cut off maybe that much further. And I got really excited. I, I what was the play? I think it was like a um, fell off the stage. I think it was like riddles, but like a one on three MW three. Don't worry no. about it. Um, <laughs> don't worry That's about that. Game didn't I think he got like a one v three, and I was like, oh my god, I went like that, and the chair I was on just like fell. And I fell backwards. <laughs> fell off the stage. How are you? <laughs> Uh, I got a technical foul. <laughs> I know where you're going with this. I, do. I don't even think I can say what I said. No, I don't think you can. Uh, you got a technical foul, though. I got a technical Something foul. Fun. I told my teammates, don't worry about it. We were at 5 2 in the grand finals. Uh, we had lost ho <laughs> We had lost host for the last map. It that, was, that, was last the, that was the foul, by the way. Yeah. So the, the result was you lose host in the last right. map. Right. And I said, don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll be good. We lose map. We lose a map. <laughs> Lose another map. 5-5 five, five last then map. Then my teammates look at me like, oh, we don't host this one. <laughs> but I guess it's my fault. Uh, <laughs> yep. Spawned in. Game started. All three of my teammates died. I had pushed their spawn. I, in my head, I was like, oh, we lost. <laughs> <laughs> and we lost. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yo, he clutches. Yeah. He clutches. Oh, no. no I broke a very nice headset after that. Uh, do you expect any COD players to eventually switch over to CSGO or vice versa? No, no they wouldn't have the skills to go to CSGO. Um, do you do either of you see the IMR becoming yes, the, for the game eventually? Uh, so maybe long. have to see how it plays on LAN. Best hair in North America, myself. Uh, you can. What, you like? <laughs> 
If you, you can build, build a team in this game around one person, formal. who that one person would be? Formal. Uh, if AW is strictly about Bows, would you no. see a change to dominance? No. Do you think EXO movement will be in the next yes. COD? I think so. I think it's going to be impossible for it not to be. I feel like the change is kind of going to be like a an old thing change. I, how can you go back to playing classic? Games. You can't. Right? Yeah. I feel like you can't. Uh, what did you guys do before casting and all of the COD esports stuff? You go first. Uh, so I worked with my family. They own a business. Okay. Uh, my parents import beer and wine to the United States. So That's pretty cool. Yeah. So the, uh, they bring it in from all over Europe, uh, Germany, the UK, Italy, Spain, Turkey, and uh, that's really cool. Yeah, they distribute it all over the United States. So I worked with them. We had uh, they have an office in Long Island, Melville, and then uh, they have an office in LA. But I worked out of the one here. Makes and, sense. Yeah, I mean, I did like uh, their books did for them. Because you, mm, cause it you okay. cause was it after that where you went into like the whole like nightclub promotion? Kind it was at the thing? same time. Same time. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty. Cool. That's kind of an interesting thing because that's kind of how. I was a player for a while, did some stuff with GameSpot, then completely, I had no left. idea video games like right. even existed, completely like left. Uh, but I was still friends with, you know, Puckett and Shibby. They were living here in the city. Uh, I would go out with them all the time. Uh, the guy who, he used to be here, he was a pro player director. He was a DJ. And I used to work for like different- That's a really weird. I used to work for different clubs. So he would come, right. they would all come, still kept in contact with them. Did a show for GameSpot and EA. And then I just started getting back into it. And that's kind of how I came back. That's pretty cool. Uh, I was a salesman. Used cars? No. Sadly not. Um, I was the Televisions. number one. No. It was a company called Talk Talk. You know, AOL. Yeah. So AOL owned Talk Talk. It's an uh -huh. internet telecommunication company. And I was the number one salesman in the UK for two months in a row. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pretty fun Good fact for any of you guys. Uh... Best hair in North. We did that. Oh, yeah. We did that. Uh, oh, um, another hair. Uh, who has better hair than Matt in esports? That's a rhetorical question. Maven. Nobody does. Ha ha. That's funny because Maven doesn't have any hair. <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, USA it. or USA? Ben, I'll let you answer that one. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Moving on. Karma three rings, yes we or no? We touched on that earlier on. Yeah. Possible. Yo, this is a great question. What happened to Chicken Selects? You know who that is? That's Chemo. Oh, I don't. I don't. That's, that's a great question. We were watching though. the video. But what happened to them, dude? I I hope Kimo's in the back watching because this is absolutely just priceless. Are they still available? No, no, they're not. So what happened? So, oh my God. the the story behind why that's a funny question, why Kimo has written that down. Why? Kimo, please tell me you're watching this because this is priceless. Um, someone in the cast off says, "Oh, and he gets a three piece like chicken selects, but they're not available. But they came in threes." They came in a three and a five. Well, this fool said three. Yo, and the buffalo sauce, dude. Do you ever have that? I've never even had chicken. Like sorry. the anyway, orange right, buffalo whatever, sauce. It was whatever, so good. We're moving on. Anyway, I have your watch. If there's a representative from McDonald's watching, bring back the chicken selects. I'm an absolute huge fan. Get rid of the mozzarella sticks. They're not that good. Uh, <laughs> are you guys thinking about changing the rotation from hardpoint SMD uplink CTF SMD to hardpoint? Uh, no, I don't think there's really a thing like that. Um. I have brought it up a few times. Yeah, we've talked about it on stream. I'm honestly really not a fan of CTF. Um, right. I think CTF has to go. That's just me though. Yeah. Uh, is Fizz going to be able to cast the champs? You know, we got his submission tape. We we did from the cast off. He um, was way too much like Duffman, so we said no. Yeah. Ah, sucks. Yeah. Nah, I, I hope Fizz comes back. I love Fizz. Yeah. I I'm miss, not sure. He I, could. He could not. I miss Fizz's streams. Hey, Fizz's streams. Have you ever well, you yeah. watched? Yeah. I watched sure. a few times when he was streaming. Like recently, and I was I miss I used to go in his streams all the time. I subbed to Fizz. Favorite cereal? I don't I don't eat cereal. Somebody actually knows that. Uh, Weetabix Minis chocolate flavor. Favorite ice cream? Uh cookie dough. Ben and Jerry's fish food. Uh oh wait does H does Nature actually know? Uh, yes yes he does. Yeah know. he probably does. Um if the person next to you turned into a banana would you eat them now? It's kind of a weird question. Yep. Uh, you could personally witness anything throughout the course of history. What would it be? No, it can also, also be, be something, something that hasn't happened that you would like to see, like a USA fight <laughs> between Twist and Parasite. I would like to see, this is in the future, I would like to see the first encounter between an extraterrestrial life form and human beings. Or, alternately, 
in the past that that's ever happened to. So I'd like to, you know, see the first time in, t in history where that happens. Because hmm. you have to assume there's life out there. Right. I mean, mathematically speaking, it's highly probable. Well, see, that's like, see, something that hasn't happened yet that, like... Right. You have to use your magic. So what, what like, would you Oh, see? yeah. I would love to see, like, my wedding to... That's really Like, a, a crazy, like... Oh, just get, give us a proper answer. Hmm. I would have loved to have gone back and been at a Laker game when they were really good with Kobe and Shaq in the finals. I love the Lakers. Chris said anything you wanted. Love anything you wanted. Uh, one game. thing you love about each other, one thing you hate about each other. Ooh. Uh, I hate that Benson is not available on every time I text him at every command that I text him at 3 a.m. and I can't understand why he can't come play video games with me. That's, that's true. Uh, um, I hate how your hair is so much better than mine. It really frustrates me. Uh, it's just perfect. Mine's never as perfect as yours. Sometimes yours stands up in the middle. It does. It does like, like that little like wall thing. I need to get it like recut again. Uh, one thing I love about Mr. X is probably really good friend outside of casting and also compliments yes. my casting in the booth too. And Ben is like the nicest guy on the planet. It's true. I, I read Reddit it. threads about Ben. And I get very angry snuggle. because Ben is one of the nicest people I've ever I don't encountered. Know why that was a snuggle. But that's like a snuggle. What is that? That's more know. like a. <laughs> it's like look at my jelly dance. Dude, I, I don't know what you were doing earlier on with your hand, but that's I don't know either. All right. Could have been deep. Why sexual. does Mr. X have a picture of Sharp and his pillow? Um. Well, you've been clearly. I mean, that's I don't have one underneath my pillow. That's not Mr. X's pillow. You've Are been you under. at my house right now, putting one underneath my pillow? <laughs> I imagine you go home. Because if you <laughs> are at my house, putting it underneath my pillow, please take my dog out because he's probably pooped on the floor. <laughs> and clean up the poop while you're at it. Yeah, clean up the poop. Don't leave it there. <laughs> take him out. Bring him back inside. And then clean. And then you got to spray it so he doesn't go back and poop in the same spot. Ooh. Uh, ban CTF. Bring back two hard points. Not a question. That's a comment. But we we'll read it anyway. I have two questions. What are some tips on becoming a COD commentator? Okay. And how you stayed interested in COD throughout the whole year? Could Ooh, have, uh... that's a good, that's a really good question because um, I'm, I'm going to start first of all with how do you stay interested in COD throughout the whole year? Black Ops 2 was really easy. I enjoyed playing the game. It was fun to play. It was fun to watch. Last year, no one of lie, just no interest in the end of the game. I no. To cast an event at the end of the, the year spam for me on Ghost was really difficult because I didn't enjoy watching the game. It was just kind of... Meh. It's probably the best I way. think uh, a large part of kind of keeping the game, you know, fun mm -hmm. and just like keeping interest in it is you can't... A lot of people take themselves way too serious. Right. It's like, I have some relax fun. a little bit. Like, have fun with it. Chill like, it. get Chill on, it. play some zombies, play mm -hmm. some infected, like... Right. Just, do something cool. Just right? Chill out and play. Some tips for being a card commentator. I mean, you recently kind Sign of... Sign up for the cast-off. Made the... <laughs> Submissions have closed. Yes. But, I mean, you're like the, the newer, I just wait to say newer, yeah. but I mean, out of everyone, you kind of really, that's so weird. That It seems like you've been around like yeah. forever. But what would you say some tips are? Uh, I've kind of just watched everybody else and taken a little pieces tip. of theirs and Taking always like best find place. something you're really good at and just kind of like hammer it down. That's the key. Um, you should never try and like completely copy somebody else because it will never ever work um, taking the best parts of everyone and like trying to incorporate that is is definitely something we should do but you need to find what you're good at uh, All right, we have some so otherwise we, it's just we have some new questions you don't have to throw it to the screen uh why is theory so average theory's a really good play yeah he's actually pretty good mm -hmm. uh let's see <laughs> from aches aches wants to know who is the winningest player in cod um um, that is actually a it's gonna be Tommy actually, but whatever. Do I think I can take down Ben in a celebrity boxing match? I don't think I could ever hit anybody. With the world and have watching, dude, that would just be hilarious. Yep. Oh wait, wait. Uh, another, are you like, signed at the top? Are you signed like, at the bottom? Rare like, from like, shot. I don't know. I just did F5. Do you think COD chance will be held outside the United States? No. Nope. Uh, we answered that. When are we gonna have sub wars? Yeah, when are we gonna have sub wars? I'm getting that new PC, so then I'll be able to play and questions. do all that stuff. What were some of the questions? Uh, wait, hold on. Start, start at the very top. I'm. But, oh wait, dude, this is this makes no sense. All right, keep yeah, scrolling. Because new keep comments scrolling. come. Go back, go back, go back to. The, oh, they do. Yeah. Oh, because they haven't been up at it. Uh, yo, check out my mixtape. Should we watch this guy's mixtape? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, what team do either of you think? would fit best into and what role would you play? Oh, uh, like what team if I replace 100% player? 100% Optic Gaming. 
I could play in, in replace of Natron. I'm fully convinced they could win, you know, a lot of series. I would join FaZe because he joined up in gaming and I would, would have be like fun arch time. rivals. It'd yeah. Be great. Is Smiting Fatty the worst CSGO player you've ever seen? A hundred gazillion percent yes. Sorry, Smiting. I love you. But yeah. yeah, I love you, Smiting. Yeah, I'll uh, take Mr. Optic X. Optic Mr. Huh? X says, so would Mr. X ever go back to a competitive esports, especially when Rainbow Six Yeah, Siege would you consider, out? would you like cast that? Would that have like a, a little spot in your heart? I would play one event. Mm -hmm. Win it. Beat everybody because I'm still better than everybody. Even now. Uh, right now. I could play that game upside down. I don't know what works for me in that game, but... And I could beat everybody. So if anyone's watching that I used to play against, y'all stink. <laughs> uh, you guys can practice as much as you want. I can sit here at this desk, talk about COD, who play you, COD. Who are you teaming with, though? I can, you just, need some I can plug it in. doesn't matter. You want to play? Team with me. Yeah, it's fine. We Dude, win. I, all right, how uh, about this? If you... if, if if Rainbow Six comes out and we team for one event, doesn't matter what the event is, just like some funny. Yeah. No, we'll win. The hundred percent, dude. I, I, I'm telling you right now, if you were able to win a game of Rainbow Six with me on your team, you've never seen. Is, I've never. You've never seen me play. You are, I've like, never I'm seen. So how sick. do you got a montage? I do. It's like like 360 like P. Like they didn't even have like HD recording. Oh, dude, we're watching that. We'll watch my montage because we didn't watch it the other okay, day. Fine. Then we'll watch yours. Continue with the question. Uh, what about it works for Crim, uh, Team Snipers? Is this song on Crimson Six players? Don't know what's playing. Atlas Gorge, you talked, talked about that a little bit earlier. Uh, very, 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 very fast. Quickly. Yes. Uh, be on the site on the 17th. How happy are you fans were available to watch live at the venue? I now? am ecstatic. Unbelievably happy. You guys 100% deserve it. Yep. Uh, we, uh, we've answered all these. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we, we've answered these. Are you going up now or are you going down? Still? No, I went down. Let's see if there's anything up. Let's see. We've done all these. They could just be like comments on comments, though. Can I take some questions from the chat? Yeah. Let's see. In fact, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we return, uh, we'll look at the chat, take some questions from in there as well. We'll watch his Rainbow Six montage, too, because I'm curious. And we can watch my montage because you were curious about mine. Yeah. Montages on montages on montages. Right back.